Hi everybody, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameOfStylish.com I hope you're all well. It's a little TV drama review today, we know like these little TV dramas. Uh, it's in Aus from Australia as well, so we've got an Australian one. It's nice to have our Aussie friends producing these little little thrillers. It's a psychological thriller and it's called The Secrets She Keeps. Please, if you're new to the channel, please push that notification button. Please push the uh, subscribe button as well. It's not good. Push, push the subscribe first and push the notification button. I think it works that way around, doesn't it? And uh, please, if you want to know about these little movie review vlogs, uh, TV drama review vlogs and information vlogs, uh, I do uh, put four or five of these out every week at least, a uh, minimum, and uh, hope to entertain as well as inform. Right, yes, the secret she keep. Um, it's she keeps. It's uh, Australian. I think mean, Network Ten. It's showing Australia a couple of months ago as I'm recording this. It's currently available um, as at the first of August on BBC iPlayer, and it is out to buy. But I'll give you the details at the end uh, of the of the of this little vlog of when it's out to buy. Yeah, an Australian psychological thriller drama um, with six episodes, so the six um, quite long, about 50 minutes, so overall I think it's like 360 minutes, so with it, with all the credits and the everything, I think it works out between 55 and 60 minutes an episode. It's set in Sydney, and it concerns two women from very vastly different backgrounds with uh, explosive secrets that could destroy everything they hold dear, so... Yeah, they both have little things that they like to keep hidden, etc. One's a bit more unhinged than the other, but uh, more of that in a bit. Uh, it stars Laura Carmichael. It's lovely to see Laura Carmichael from, uh, obviously, a Downton Abbey star. If you like you like your Downton Abbey, you'll recognise Laura Carmichael. Jessica Degu and Michael Dorman. Yeah, I mean, apart from uh, Laura, I wasn't familiar with too many of the actors uh, here in the UK. They're obviously mainly Australian actors, I think. Uh, the series is written by Sarah Walker and Jonathan Gavin. It's based on the novel by Michael Robotham. So, or Robotham, or however you, Robotham, however you, however you pronounce that. Now, and he's quite well respected as an author. I think even Stephen King sort of gives him uh, a little uh, congratulations on his books. He does, he, even Mr King reads his books. So that's not a bad uh, place to come from, isn't it? So it's based on one of his novels. Is it any good? Yeah, well... Yeah, there's not a lot out there at the moment. Obviously, a lot of the reviews are mainly Australian-based, but uh, Rotten Tomatoes, the critics, have a 78% positivity rate, but there's no breakdown on that at all, so obviously there's not many reviews have, have uh, contributed to that. Internet Movie Database are our go-to, isn't it, Internet Movie Database? Again, there's no, no critics' reviews on this one, but we do have the Joe Public scores, obviously, uh, and they range per episode, anywhere between the episodes getting... 7.1 out of 10 and 7.6 out of 10. I said they got the six episodes, so that's not too bad. But overall, it's only getting a 6.8, which is okay. I mean, it's a respectable score, 6.8 out of 10. But if the episodes are getting between 7.1 and 7.6, it's a bit, bit of an odd mark, isn't it? Perhaps, you know, that uh, it's only getting six, even, even the lowest uh, likes episode got more than 6.8. But I don't know how they work. I'm not too sure how they work out the statistics on these things. Yeah, some of the comments, are, there's a couple of little mini-reviews I'll, I'll read out at the end that show the, the variance in people's opinions on this. Um, some comments, it wasn't a masterpiece, but it wasn't too bad either. So, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I can't disagree with that one. Easy to watch, but gripping, yeah, at its moments. I mean, in the six episodes, it wasn't overly long. It wasn't one of these where they could have probably done it in four. Yeah, perhaps he could have got away with four or five, but uh, yeah, it didn't drag too much for the six episodes. Uh, another person wrote, it was okay. Yep. <laughs> another one wrote, why the haters? Yeah, I think that's based on some, some real negative, like twos out of tens and three out of tens, stuff like this. Uh, and a comment here, lost interest. Yeah, I think he went on to explain how he lost interest and he, he couldn't, you know, like me, you have to invest in characters, don't you? He couldn't actually invest in any of the characters, had no real interest in them, so he lost interest in the in the whole thing. Uh, preposterous, non-realistic melodrama. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... it's. 
realism perhaps you know sometimes realist real, real doesn't quite work does it so obviously it's a genre this isn't it it's, it's a thriller genre that yeah you, you you find it very hard to believe but these things do happen so i wouldn't say preposterous but yeah i know what i know where the critic is coming from uh entertainment good enough to keep the viewer interested and that was a mr tone baloney uh i don't know how real how correct that name is he wrote this on the 10th of july and he, he did actually write that I quite share this sentiment actually. Yes, it was predictable. Yes, we knew the outcome. Yes, it was full of ridiculous plot holes. However, it does a job of entertaining the audience, which is ultimately the only real purpose of TV drama. Enjoyable, binge worthy Aussie TV. So he did like it. So he gave it um, Tom Baloney, give it uh, an 8 out of 10 rating. But we do get a 2 out of 10 here, just, just for balance, obviously, I'll just read a 2 out of 10. This is for IMDB is for me, uh, obviously he enjoys IMDB, Internet Movie Database. Uh, his headline, Boring Garbage with Predictable Ending. Uh, it's never a good sign when the preview trailer gives away the entire plot. Well, he obviously watched a different pre uh, preview trailers to what I've watched. I've watched a couple of trailers as well as the series and... Uh, no, the trailers don't particularly give away the plot, so I don't know. Obviously, perhaps he looked at, he he watched a different trailer, or perhaps he seeks out, perhaps he watched about a hundred trailers and put them all together and didn't have to watch the series. Then did he? Uh, this is a paint by numbers storyline with no real tension or mystery. Well, that's, I think there's tension in it, and there's certainly a bit of mystery in it. I mean, you know. So yeah, it's a paint by numbers storyline. I think I say something similar in my little little thoughts, but yeah, I, I think that's a bit unfair. The episodes move slowly and rich with boring filler scenes to plump out the paper thin plot. Yeah, tedious Drek. I don't know what Drek is. I have no idea. Perhaps it's an Australian term. I'll have to look that up. I should have looked that up before I came on. Should not have Drek. D R E K. You have a look, by the way, what it means. Tedious Drek. So. Like Trek, is it a tedious, tedious wander through a through a thrill? I assume he's getting at, but yeah, I don't. It, it, yes, it's, it is a quite a thinnish plot, but I don't don't think there was too many boring filler scenes. To be honest with you. Anyway, that's that's the that's the two out of ten mark. I say just for balance as opposed to the other one. Yeah, my little thoughts on this. Uh, as you can see, he does split opinion, but overall, I'm saying he's getting a six. Over six, he's getting a six point eight rating, which is okay. It's pretty good. I mean, anything anything near a seven rating on Internet Movie Database is usually respect, very respectable. Uh, yes, it is a thrill that runs through the gam full gambit of others, you know, that we've seen of this genre. And yes, a bit like British dramas, the Aussies do have a mishmash of acting talent. They do. I mean, where you know you get someone who pretty good actors, and you get bang average actors, and you get one or two wooden actors, and a, a couple of comments on the critique, uh, critiques I, I read that I didn't read there were uh, about the poor quality of the acting. So yeah, just like the British ones, even the BBC dramas, we, we do get a bit of a mishmash of uh, acting talent from America, but overall, it's just simple entertainment, and sometimes you, you can sort of Forget that acting side of it, as long as the story's okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, someone commented on a critic that about the police wouldn't wouldn't be this rubbish. I mean, the, yeah, the police are useless, but then again, we wouldn't have a story, would they? They did the job properly. They could put this thriller into a couple of episodes rather than six, but it... It's just simple to don't think too much about it. Don't think about all the say all the plot holes and the things that are a bit silly. Just just turn your head off and watch it. I mean, I do that with a lot of action films. You know, I just basically enjoy it for what it is. You know, when someone's spraying a room with bullets and the hero always seems to dodge them, the hero always seems to dodge them, but the baddies always seem to get them. So I mean, you've just got to turn your head off and and watch it for what it is. And as I said, Laura Carmichael, I mean, I must admit, I did really enjoy watching Laura away from a, a Downton Abbey role. And she does a pretty decent unhinged role, which is a, as it progresses, you do you do get that side of her. Uh, and I think also, I'll always give it extra credit for the fact it's Australia. It's in Australia, isn't it? I get a little bit, you know, if it's based in the UK or the US, we all, you know, I expect a little, perhaps a little bit more from my thrillers. But uh, yeah, the fact it's Australia with a different background, I, I'm not sure if it was shot around Sydney. I assume it was, but obviously it's just nice to see their perspective of things and, and places around, you know, in Australia rather than the UK and the US. So. And it's not it's not a critique for the for the drama. I mean that's just, just my opinion. I like to see something a little bit different. And it's nice to see the you know an Aussie Aussie view of things. 
Uh, so yeah, I can understand some of the criticism, but I think I think most viewers, most people like me, who like a good standard thriller with a with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Uh, plus, plus, yeah, one or two nice twists is uh, certainly one thing that made me go, oh, oh, I didn't expect that. Certainly one, and probably probably another one or two as well, but uh, I can't think of offhand. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there's some one or two nice twists, but uh, oh that. It's not. It's not groundbreaking. It's not. It's not in any way. Oh, it took took the the psychological TV thriller to another level. Of course, uh, no, of course, it's not. It's just just as it is. I said, turn your head off. Just enjoy it for what it is. Just enjoy just just Laura Carmichael's role in it, for instance. And obviously, as I say some of the others are a bit 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 of a mishmash of acting, but. Uh, yeah, I like, I like, as you can see from my thing, I'm not being too critical of this, but uh, I can understand people that are being critical of it, as I say, because it is, it is standard stuff, as I say, there is a couple of things that did surprise me, but I mean, yeah, we've, we've been, it's a genre, isn't it, we've been there before, I mean, if if I'd listened to the book uh, by the, the guy or uh, uh, Mr. Robolf, Botham or both um, you know, or read the book. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's a genre, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I say I, there's no comparisons with the book. I don't know what it, you know. You've read the book, and you know, it's always nice to read the book and then watch the the thrill. Although it doesn't it doesn't bother me watching a a thing and then reading the book after. I can do it either way. I, so I get things from both, and that's that's all that matters. So I'm gonna give it a little rate, good rate. I'm gonna give it a not a fantastic rating, but I mean, you know, my watchable rating is six, and I think this is. Bit better than watchable. I think this is very watchable, simple and watchable. Uh, so I'm going to give it six point five out of ten. So a little bit better than a watchable rating. Uh, the secret she keeps. Yeah, and, and to buy it's out to buy in the UK and it will be out to buy online. Um, I'm only got a DVD option at the moment, sixteen ninety nine, and it's out available to buy and own online or at your local store from the tenth of August twenty twenty. So that's from the tenth of August. If it's if it's gone past that when you're watching this, or obviously if you if you're watching this a, a few days before that date, then uh, that's when it's available to buy over over two discs and a total of 360 minutes i'm not too sure there's any extras we don't have a classification either yet there's no uh, uh on on the websites there's no classification for it i'd imagine it being a 15 a 12 or a fifth silly a 15 rating but uh, i have no classification yet so that's out to buy from the 10th of august 2020 well there you go anyway let me know in the comments if you get to watch it and what you think uh, even if you watch it in the next few weeks just remember to oh, i'll mention that to bernard who's talking a lot of rubbish there what's he on about the worst worst drama i've ever seen or you know that Bernard's all right and he sort of almost or sometimes gets it right you know he speaks for us all sort of thing you know whichever <laughs> whichever option anyway thanks for watching please check my links on screen uh, and if you're more into facebook than twitter please uh, just friend me on facebook at bernard Deneen and i'll friend you back on there and if you can get to look at my little website for old rare dvds uh, movie posters from the 90s and 2000s and some board games as well on uh, moviegamenostalgia.com thumbs up to you M much appreciated more than merry and even if you only have a look round it doesn't matter it helps my analytics and get me up the ladder on on search engines etc etc so you just do me a favor just by by following a link and going on it that'll be fantastic anyway thanks for watching this today uh, hopefully you'll join me again for another little movie review or tv drama review or a uh, an information vlog on you know hopefully fingers crossed i keep saying this i mean saying this last few uh vlogs i've done now it'll be cinema releases soon on a regular basis i think there's one or two dotted about but uh, i want to do it on a full full-fledged cinema release we've got three or four or five films to, to look at every week and obviously my dvd um blu-ray information vlogs as well whatever you're going to do with this day have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your family let's all look after each other until we meet again it's a bird of saying Goodbye and please stay safe. Bye-bye.